This is how Roblox players actually get hacked. We're going to look at some of the different methods of previous hackers and how they managed to hack Roblox. Some of these incidents include over 200,000 players being affected and you could be one of them. Also at some point during this video, I'm going to hack someone. Let's begin. So in 2017, there was a huge Roblox breach where over 6,000 players accounts were stolen. Actually, according to Twitter, there's over 500,000 accounts listed as in risk. And so how did this hacking happen? Well, it all comes down to Discord. There's a popular bot known as row verify that allows you to connect your roblox account there if you enter in your username and password to tie it with discord it was actually really popular 9 million roblox users connected with it oh my gosh and 215,000 happy server owners i'm not sure about the whole happy part anymore but yeah it was really popular and then yeah it got hacked these are some of the users that were affected by the hacking incident and the list just goes on and on oh my gosh this is a that was a very long list <laughs> now that's one way for people to hack accounts I'm going to show you how most hackers do it. So the YouTuber, the Dev King, actually made a video on this. But essentially, the way hacking occurs is through your cookies. Well, let me explain. So here I am in my profile. I'm going to right click and go to inspect. And it's going to open up this tab over here. So all of this is important code that displays my profile on the left. Like, for example, right here where it says Robux amount. If I click on this, right now it says 1,179. Let's say I just type in 700 comma zero 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 and then press enter look how much robux i now have oh <laughs> so if i type out seven hundred thousand, i suddenly gain seven hundred thousand robux no that's not true actually it just displays this i don't actually have seven hundred thousand robux if i just click on a random page here it'll, it'll show my true amount again it only displays on the current page what's actually funny is i could just type in like anything else like ha 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 he 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 and now I have that exact amount of Robux. Pretty funny trick. I can even type out that I'm negative Robux in depth. Let's see if I change this code. Can I be like another random account? <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, just changing that name right there. I could actually change my username over here too. But I didn't actually change it. If I click refresh, again, I'll just go back to flush. So that's totally safe and harmless. But here's where it gets dangerous. So if I go to application tab here, you see one of the storage names called cookies. And cookies is what hackers take from you. So do not let hackers steal your cookies. So if I click on the down arrow, click on this item here. This is what hackers are after. They're after this information here. It literally says, warning, do not share this. Sharing this will allow someone to log in as you and steal your Robux and items. And then it gives a whole code, which we're gonna blur out in the video. So pretty much if someone were to steal this code, they'd be able to log into your account. So to prove this hacking actually works, I asked my friend for his code and we're going to hack him. Okay, so I managed to get his code here. So I think what I have to do now is I click on this, delete my code, and then I insert his. And again, I'm hacking him, but it's for a harmless prank. Do not attempt to do this. Okay, I'm gonna press enter now, and it should automatically log me into his account. I pressed enter on that. I'm gonna refresh this page. Okay, yeah, it actually worked. You see right there, it says Green Marco. So that's my friend's name. And yeah, we are actually in his account now. You can see that he uses light mode, and he's got 361 robux here and yeah i actually have what is this why does he have this okay <laughs> but yeah i could actually change his description get hacked lol save that and just to prove that we actually have his account let's just join a game and see if it works so yeah it actually works this is his account i i'm typing as him on the left right there yeah <laughs> that's how that's how it's done so whatever you do literally do not share your cookies with anyone unfortunately there are ways for people to take your cookies without you even knowing. So going back to Discord, Seriberry tells the story of how her mod was almost hacked because of a link they received in Discord. So this user basically added my mod and they're like, add me in Roblox, oh, yeah, please, there's a link with right this there. link to like a Roblox profile. And obviously my mod doesn't click on links that they don't know, but yeah, this person yeah. was very, very persistent. They're like, can you join me? You don't need to add me. And they just kept being like, I want to show you something. I made it. Yeah, so and, they're being suspicious you know, like that. Just, like, just no, avoid just links altogether. And just show me here you would click on links something's up something's fishy do not trust it correct yeah so that link is probably a cookie logger so yeah clicking on this link won't actually take you to this roblox profile if you type it out yourself you will gain access to it which cerebrary actually does check out later on and it's just a normal account but if she were to click on this link then this hacker would gain access to beam her account is what people like to call it here's a similar instance where another kid actually beams his classmates while in class all right so check it out so again he's on discord right now and he sends his classmate this link 
beat me at tic-tac-toe. So this isn't actually a tic-tac-toe game. It's either an image or a website where once you click on it, it opens up a program and it is therefore able to steal your cookies or whatever this information is built in. So yeah, it looks like right here, his friend clicked on the link and the program was actually able to gain his cookies. He enters into Roblox, pastes in his cookies, similar to what I did, and is now 35,000 Robux richer. By the way, creating programs or scripts that can take cookies is actually considered malware, which is extremely illegal. Causing malware to be installed on someone else's computer is a criminal offense for which you could face state or federal charges. So please do not do it. There was actually a big hack that happened six months ago where over 200,000 Roblox accounts were compromised, and you could actually be one of them. So yeah, here it is. It says that search blocks has been compromised slash backdoored. If you have it, your account may be at risk. And yeah, a lot of people will have this. Over 200,000 users had downloaded search blocks. And interestingly enough, search blocks itself did not get hacked. It was actually the creator of search blocks who inserted a code to steal a user's cookies and then therefore steal Robux and other items as well. Creecraft actually made a video about it. So let's check it out really quickly. Last night, I started getting tweets about an extension called search blocks. Apparently the owner of that extension was using it to hack thousands of Roblox accounts. This guy right here called Unstoppable Lucent. Well, he's the developer of the search blocks yeah, yeah, plugin. He's the creator. Well, today he added some malicious code into the plugin. Here's actually a screenshot of it right here. And what this code does is actually pretty smart. You see, it doesn't hack your account by taking your password and your username and your email. It doesn't kick you out or lock you out of your account. Yeah, what it does, is true. Is, like I said, is actually pretty clever. It steals your limited items and your Robux without you yep. knowing. Yeah, Basically, it, it creates a backdoor into your Roblox profile. Yeah, yeah. The owner of the plugin or whoever has access to it can look through all the Roblox accounts that have the extension installed, find ones that have a lot of Robux on them or a lot of limited in high value, and then they can just take that Robux out of your account. So yeah, I think what happens is that he inserted a code that allows for him to steal people's cookies that way and therefore log into them and then make exchanges for Robux and items. At least that's what I think. This person even says, if you're hacked, it's because search blocks is hacked from cookies. So that's my speculation. And it's crazy how many people actually uninstalled search blocks. Remember, I used to have over 200,000 users. Now it's 50,000, a lot of which are probably just inactive people or computers. So how do you protect your cookies? How do you not get hacked? Well, first of all, if you had search blocks or any Roblox extensions, you're at risk of someone potentially able to gain access to your computer if the extension gets hacked or the creators themselves are evil, like the search blocks guy. So be careful with what extensions you download, especially these ones that promise Robux, free Robux generator <laughs> and all that. They're two star, one star for a reason. Be careful with any of these that you download, especially ones that ask for permission on having information on your account. But if you did have search blocks or if you did have that row verify and your username is on this list or is at risk, then make sure to change your password immediately and also do a two factor on Roblox. That's really helpful too. Also, by the way, do not ask your friends for their cookies. That was just a joke on my friend. Please don't abuse that. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, have a good one, guys. Goodbye.